even though I like filming hunts, I still like shooting critters. I mean, I still like the hunting part of it, uh, the the actual getting out and, and actually firing the weapon or shooting the bow and all that. I mean, I haven't lost that edge of want, but it's still, I don't know, I get a little bit more, and I hate to say that, but I get a little bit more out of actually filming the hunt. Literally as old as the hills, hunting and outdoors, been bringing people together for a long time. Prime example of this deal right here, Mark Kendrick, landowner here in Kansas, likes to duck hunt, we like to turkey hunt, kind of put our heads together. He said, hey, we've got some turkeys up here. We have flooded timber duck hunt in Arkansas. We're trading off hunts. That's how we ended up down here today. He's gonna to come see us in the winter. We're gonna put him on some, some green heads in the timber. For people that don't get to ex experience what we do in the woods, they're probably looking at us saying, why do you do that? What is so fun about it? But if you don't do it, uh, I, feel, I do feel sorry for you. I mean, this is, the things I've been taught in the woods is what I carry around in my everyday life. And I'm so thankful for the opportunity, still to this day, that when I get to go hunting or fishing or being outdoors, I'm truly blessed and I'm excited to be able to take my kids hunting. It's just a part of how I was raised, and that's how I'm gonna raise my kids, definitely. Blood Brothers, an ancestral bond between like-minded individuals that share one passion. Cherokee Sports. Blood Brothers TV. Share your passion. Joey and I, are, uh, we have a really good friend relationship hunting. We hunt on an average, I say, 35 to 45 times a year in a duck boat or duck blind. I spend more time with him during duck season than I do with my own wife. And you learn so much what someone else is thinking. You have to put trust into them that everything's gonna be safe and that we're gonna have a good time. Waking up at three in the morning, going out turkey hunting or duck hunting or whatever it be, you learn a lot about someone and you would not uh, get to do that in normal world situations. You do not get to find a hunting partner or friends that you hunt with um, on that kind of level that you would just sitting in an office or a desk working next to somebody. So you, the people you meet and the situations you get put in are endless when it comes to hunting. I'm going to ease out there see if they're getting any closer. Without hunting and the outdoors, I would not get to know him as he is. We wouldn't get the time to spend together in the woods. So if it wasn't for hunting, I'd probably be a guy you shake his hand at the store and walk on by. So hunting has brought us as a, a hunting partners pretty close. I, I'm a painting contractor uh, out of BB, Arkansas. This is my first time to hunt in Kansas. I'm primarily a waterfowl hunter. I do like to turkey hunt and occasionally deer hunt. It's uh, you know, the main hobby that me and my friends share uh, would be hunting. 
We got in last night. We, we left BB, we left Arkansas yesterday about 1.30. Um, got to South Central Kansas just in time last night to roost a couple of birds. First trip, or my first trip personally to Kansas. So pretty excited. It's always hard to get a night's sleep when you know you've got a bird roosted. He started hunting, I bet, five, six years ago. And the first time I heard him blow a duck call, I told him, throw it in the water. And I've never seen someone progress blowing a duck call as he has. When he does something, he's gonna do it, and he's gonna do it right. You know, now we're not showing him what to do, he's showing us what to do. Blood Brothers TV will be right back. Blood Brothers, to me, means folks all across the country sharing the same love for the same thing. It's the tie that binds. It's the, the thing we all have in common. Thus, the definition Blood Brothers. We may not know each other. We may not have ever talked, but because of our love for what we do in the outdoors, we're all blood brothers. We're all kin. Anybody that you see, anywhere you happen to travel, if he's got camouflage on, if he's got a sticker on his truck or whatever, if you're in a parking lot somewhere and you got a flat tire, that would be the first person you'd go to. He'd be the guy that you could count on helping you out. You would have that common bond even though you never knew the guy. We all look for that enjoyment that we find in the outdoors. Our time off, you know, whether you take vacation time to go hunting or whether it's what you do for a living or whatever it is, it's the same, same for all of us. It's the desire, it's the enjoyment we, we get out of that. It's all of it. Our love for the outdoors, hunting and fishing and sitting in a tree stand and watching the sunrise or a duck blind or watching the mist come off the water when you're out on the lake getting ready to make your first cast, all that stuff, we all have that same makeup, that same wiring in our chip. So at the end of the day, we're all blood brothers. And guys, that's what we're gonna show you here on Blood Brother TV, we're all blood brothers. Whether you're hunting the most expensive lease in Arkansas during duck season, your granddaddy's farm in Iowa, or public ground right here in Tennessee, it's the tie that binds us together that makes us all blood brothers is the reason we're out there and the reason we love it. I'm a blood brother. Are you? Welcome back to Blood Brothers TV. The, the stuff we do at home, duck hunting every day, you know, we've got a really tight group of guys and I mean, it's just stuff that you can't ever replace, you can't buy it, you can't put a price tag on it. I mean, it's, it's true brotherhood in every sense of the word. I mean, these are bonds that just that last a lifetime. On days like this where the birds, they can't get that sound, you really have to rely on visual uh, stimulation. And you know, once those turkeys saw that decoy, that, that, that pretty well sealed the deal for us. And it was a little bit nerve wracking because you could see down this road very clearly and you'd, you'd kind of stick your head out and one minute there'd be turkeys in the road and the next minute they'd be gone while they're they're going in and out of this corn stubble back and forth the whole way the whole four or five hundred yards down to where we're set up really nerve-wracking kind of came around through the corn stalks uh, finally saw the decoy and, and headed that way this was only my second turkey kill i know rob would have 
like to have probably got a little more footage out of that big bird, but I mean, it was all I could do to, to let him get what he got. I mean, I was shaking like a little kid. Really neat experience. First Rio, hunting here in Kansas. Totally different type of terrain. The wind today, just challenge after challenge, adaptation after adaptation. Hunting with a seasoned guy like Rob really made the difference. Came out, came out, had a really good hunt. Take him right then, or wait on him to come up here past this grass. I don't know if you can see where I'm at, but with this, uh, it's not like shooting through open sides. Enough. I grew up here in BB, Arkansas, like most redneck kids, running the country roads, driving four wheelers, budding, fishing, hunting. I grew up doing all my life. Um, it's just a part of me, part of my character, and it's the country life has made me what I am today. There's no amount of money that can put a put what it's instilled in my life. Um, as far as the way I raise my own kids now, I mean, that's how I'm going to want to raise my kids the way I was brought up. When you're out in the country, there's something that comes over you. It's you and what God has put on this wonderful earth. It's a part of what I am. It's just a freedom that you get from being out here you versus an animal and it's uh it just does something the time you get to spend with your friends family you'll never forget when you kill a bird or deer with whoever you're with you cannot get that from anywhere else and it's memories that last a lifetime you wasn't that far mm -mm, mm -mm. Stuck here. I don't want to spook her. Do it. She's right here. She coming. Yeah, she is. Five and one big boy coming out in the field. Oh, there's a bunch of Yeah. He's strutting. It was. He's got a. He's got a he's nice. Got a limp. He's got a nice rope too. Look at that. He got that swagger. It's that Kansas swagger. I'm about to finish off. Blood Brothers TV. We'll be right back. Blood Brothers TV. We're gonna have to get his head up for me to shoot him. Well, you just make sure you don't watch him raise your gun. Bring your stick in. He likes some decoys. Oh, I'm down in there. That ain't the same one we heard, is it? No. Boy, you got a rope on him. He's got a nice rope. I graduated from uh, BB High School in 99, not having a clue on what was my purpose in life. And I've done a lot of oddball jobs, working at a distribution center, uh, dozer work. I put myself through Fire Academy um, and got a job a couple years later at the uh, North Little Rock Fire Department. Been there for about five and a half years and love every minute of it.
you have two guys sitting there. We got Freddie and me, two passionate hardcore guys about whatever it be, if it's duck hunting, turkey hunting, this time it was turkey hunting. To see something like that, you can see it a hundred times, it doesn't matter, but this, at that moment, that was the coolest hunt we were, we've ever seen. At that moment, because it was in front of us, uh, you versus nature and you're about to win. You think you're about to win. The time we had out there together, I, won't ta I wouldn't take that for nothing, no matter if I come home empty handed or not. In hunting, there's a, a certain amount of uh, camaraderie, teasing, joking you do. That's just part of it. That, that's one sense what makes it so much fun. It's an instant, instant high you get from hearing them birds gobble. The way a turkey works, the way you have to call at it, sometimes you don't have to call at all. That's just part of it. And that's why I do it. I think that's why I do it, for the uh, adrenaline rush he gives me when he gobbles, the beauty of the hens, the way the gobbler works his hens. It's neat. Quite embarrassing to have to come back to camp and tell everybody. Um, <laughs> You missed. And normally you could kind of fib about it, but when you have a camera guy behind you, there's no fibbing. It was it was awesome. That's why you do it. That's why we travel and that's why we put the time into it. It's for moments like that. And well, I'll never forget it, even though I don't have nothing to show anybody besides some footage. But that's why we do what we do. The time that me and Freddie had right there, I'll never forget it. it, it it's just, there's something about it. When something goes right, that you've put so much time and effort into, you'll never forget it. It's something that you've accomplished. You feel a sense of accomplishment there. I grew up in Arkansas. Half my family's from Louisiana, the other half is from Arkansas. Uh, I come from a family that's real rich in outdoors from my Papa Dushaw and all my Cajun side of my mom's family down on the, the Chafalaya and the coast down there, crabbing, crawfishing, shrimping, you know, all that stuff. My dad's side, you know, they deer hunted, rabbit, squirrel hunted, and quail hunted up in uh, Arkansas. And I think that would help a lot of kids today if, if they had somebody, you know, that really showed them what the outdoors was all about. And it's just not going out there riding your truck through a field and all that kind of mess. It's actually sitting down at a tree and watching a couple of gray squirrels go and feed on some hickory nuts or something. Dang, there's thorns all over the place out there. Oh, I had one go through the side of my little shoes. I believe that looks pretty doggone good. Brothers TV will be right back. aren't everything. Tell me you weren't fooled by my perfectly photo printed body and molded head with my fine realistic hair. I'm as real as it gets baby. Tell me I didn't slip in on you and set you up completely undetectable because of my extremely mobile abilities and quick setup. Tell me I wasn't irresistible. The moment you saw me, tell me how unfair it is for me to hold your attention so well that you didn't notice that one important thing in your surroundings. Tell me I'm the only one that's on your mind. There's never been another like me. Nope. You ain't gotta say anything at all, cause you're close enough I can smell it on your breath. Boom. The new age of turkey decoy realism is here. The new Cherokee Sports Harry Heads. Available at Walmart. Welcome back to Blood Brothers TV. There's one thing that I'm really truly grateful for and I think a lot of young kids don't have today is that mentorship. My parents, grandparents, and my whole family is deeply embedded in the outdoors and I really think 
I could have been one of those kids that kind of went south if it wasn't for the my love for the outdoors. It was that that kept me from staying out at late. Would make sure I was in bed early so we get up next morning, go duck hunting, score hunting, rabbit hunting, whatever. And I and I think that would help a lot of kids today if if they had somebody you know that really showed them what the outdoors was all about. He's straight. He's over here by this decoy to the left. He's in the weeds. He's fixing to step out. He's 25 yards down the edge of grass. I really enjoy filming, shooting footage, and trying to capture you know what's going on. I mean that's that's I really really enjoy that, but. The state that we're hunting in, the boys that we were filming, they they killed out early. And Rob and I, the other camera guy, we had uh, a couple of days left. Birds are goblin. And he said, you know what? You ought to go buy a tag and go shoot your turkey. I hadn't shot one all year. It's it, This is probably our last trip. So he didn't have to... Uh, twist on my wrist too much to get me out there in the woods. And we had a pretty good idea of where some gobblers might be. A buddy of ours owned a little piece of property. He said, let y'all go out there, check it out, see what you think. We went out there right at roosting time, got out of the truck, walked up to a little old pond, hooted, and wham, I mean, turkey gobble. So, of course, we couldn't go that next morning. We had one hunter left that, that needed to tag out. So, we get back to camp, Everybody's packing up, Rob and I, we're just standing there, and he said, go bike hunting. <laughs> so we go back to the farm over there that we had roosted the bird the night before. There's a little draw with a little road going through it, and a lot of turkey sign. And we kind of mill around, we find a spot, get everything set up. We're sitting there, getting all our stuff ready. It wasn't faint, I mean, I could hear it well, and I said, that was a gobbler, just right there. And it's across a little old holler, but you know how when you hear something, when you're doing a lot of things, it kind of catches you by surprise, and you're like, you don't know if it is, but you're certain it is. Oh, ladies. Here goes my heartbeat. It's starting to pound. Shake them out wide or loud. Can you see them dadgum hooks on that sucker? You know, when you got a bird that close, the best thing to do is let him do you know just leave him alone and there's no doubt in that bird's mind that he's showing off for some hints and he just takes his time he just it's kind of funny to watch him he just take a step real slow put his foot down and he was just so deliberate on every movement that he made it was it was actually real fun to watch and i mean he was doing everything but just throwing that fan up All those experiences together, you know, sharing them, I think is 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 what this whole sport is about. And I think that's the connection between everybody, you know, that enjoy the outdoors. They if you if you like that kind of thing, if you truly understand what it's all about, then you you know that next guy or the guy sitting next to you or the guy that's watching your footage, he's he's feeling or seeing and feeling the same, pretty much the same thing that you are, you know, if you, if, if, there's no doubt about it. So, and, that, and that's what it's all about. That was completely and totally awesome. If you ain't got yourself a wobble head hen, you missing out. Brother. <laughs>
Become a Blood Brother by going to www.bloodbrotherstv.com. Brought to you by Cherokee Sports. You've been watching Blood Brothers TV.